Global Good News Engine, One Community Weekly Progress Update number 312. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. This is a We With Progress update number 312, March 17th, 2019 edition. This is also six years of weekly progress updates for One Community. If you're not familiar with it, One Community's mission is to bring together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and to build self-sustainable, open source, and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today what I want to talk about is creating a global good news engine, because that is really what we are up to. Our idea of bringing together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all, interested in creating a global sustainability, is to create a place where we can all come together and work constantly and consistently towards this goal of a world that truly works for everybody. And we think that that can be accomplished within our lifetime. If you run the numbers, the idea of creating a teacher demonstration hub that becomes self-replicating, and our way of making it self-replicating is to demonstrate it as easy enough, affordable enough, to create it as easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough so that the idea will spread its own. And we're doing that by taking the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combining them with the what we've identified as the emotional foundations of sustainability, which are highest good approaches to education, highest good approaches to economics, fulfilled living practices, truer stewardship. Putting these things together as an evolution of sustainability and inviting people with consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet to come and participate so that we can produce good things and move the world in a good direction, becoming a global good news engine an engine for constantly producing good news. Like, look at what we're doing now in Africa. Look at what we're doing now in Thailand. Look at what we're doing now in Louisiana. Look at, you know, the sustainable village. It's not just us, but as an organization, as a cooperative and collaborative, a global cooperative and global collaborative working for the highest good of all life on this planet. One community will be the prototype. We're building one community as the initial place for people to come together, the initial good news, global good news engine. And then from that, by open sourcing and free sharing, all the tools, the tutorials, the resources, and the do-it-yourself instructions for replicating what it is that we're creating, making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating attractive enough, a place that anybody in the world can come and visit, experience it, stay in an earth bag village, stay at the city center, all the things that you see happening in the background of this video, come and experience those things, and then take the blueprints, the instructions, the step-by-step -step tutorials for replication, and replicate it. Make it better or build off of it. Take that as a starting point because with those open source plans, with all the AutoCAD files and all the tutorials and everything necessary, we can reduce the price. We can make it easier and we can demonstrate as a place that people want to be a part of, people want to live in, and make it self-replicating. So this is our global good news engine. And from there, from this place of needing nothing, by creating a place where everybody has everything that they need, by working cooperatively and collaboratively together to, to pay our bills, to con constantly innovate and produce more open source and free shared content, to build our houses, to grow our food, and show other people how to do that as well, to recycle more efficiently and more effectively, to make decisions more fairly, uh, to demonstrate a higher level of education that really focuses more on how to learn instead of what to learn, and demonstrating what that looks like, training the next generation of ambassadors to the future, the children that will create the future, that will become the young adults, that will become the adults leading this movement forward of highest good thinking and creating, creating a world that truly works for everyone within our lifetime. This is what we're all about. And from that place, can we become a global good news engine? Absolutely. You know, because we're open sourcing and free sharing everything that we're doing. We're coming up with the absolute best. We're thinking about it not from monetary gain, not from how can we be the best, but from how can we do the best? How can we do what's right with every decision? And if we make mistakes, how can we adjust that? How can we teach people how we thought this was the best and now we found something else? 
You know, from that place of not needing anything and from really wanting to do what's right, we have the ability to evaluate products objectively. We have the ability to create things that are objectively best practice and to share open source and free share that with the world so that other people that agree with us can do the same thing or so that other people that disagree with us can have that foundation to say, hey, this is what one community said was best. We think this is best instead, and here's the reason why. Or this is what one community created. From that, we're creating this other version of it. And anybody who wants to open source and free share what it is that they're doing, building off of our platform, we will promote them as well. And so this is our idea of creating a global good news engine. And it's not just one community. It's about, about a global good news engine that is a cooperative and a collaborative with the world, with everybody else that's, that's doing things for the highest good of all as well, or doing their best to do what is in the highest good. And you can already see this through our social media platform, especially Facebook, where we're constantly sharing what other people are doing. We're promoting other organizations that are doing good things. You know, we have an annual open source strategy, which if you Google it, you can just say one community open source uh, uh, social media strategy where anybody can take the work, the research that we've done for the last several years, finding good things and sharing them. And you can sort that. So the point is, is we are dedicated to what is for the best for humanity and all life on this planet. We're creating an open sourcing and free sharing that. We're a 100% unpaid, nonprofit, all volunteer organization, creating to the best of our ability what we see as for the highest good of all life on this planet. And so with that said, and creating this global good news engine, Here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued developing the most sustainable toilets and most sustainable urinals pages by adding menstrual cup details to both. You can see these new additions here. And Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, completed his 39th week helping with Earthbag Village render additions. This week, he began work on this Earthbag Village render of a six dome cluster by improving colors and replacing and adding pupil. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued working on the Earthbag Village. Here's weekly update 153 from Dean. This week's focus, as shown in these images, was finishing the furniture for the non-ADA bathrooms and running test renders. And Elizabeth Kahn, environmental consultant, completed her ninth week as a researcher with our team. This week, she researched additional resources and all the menstrual cup details discussed earlier and added them to the most sustainable toilets and most sustainable urinals pages. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued the process of modeling the new Duplical City Center interior design details for the library. This week, we moved the mirror down, redesigned the branches and bookshelves, and adjusted the love seat and sofa from the SketchUp warehouse to match actual dimensions and color we'll be buying. We also corrected the size of all the tables and applied the tree trunk SketchUp texture to the columns. The core team also continued adding content to the City Center open source HVAC design tutorial. This week, we finished the Applying Lead in the Duplical City Center case study section and created all the content and graphics shown here. Tanya Griffin, Aubrey Ann Boyle, and Allie Marsh, interior designers from Lotus Designs, completed their 12th week helping with the Duplical City Center interior design details. This week's focus was creating the second generation storyboards for the public restrooms and social dome and brainstorming lighting and furniture ideas. You can see some of this work here. And James Harrigal, student researcher, also completed his 14th week researching sustainable materials. This week's focus was beginning research on sustainable adhesives, types of adhesives, and their potentially harmful effects. You can see the beginnings of this here. Sneha Dongre, structural engineer, also continued with her fifth week helping with the Duplical City Center structural details. This week's focus was finishing cleanup and removal of all unneeded lines in the AutoCAD file, assigning everything to proper layers, deleting old layers, and adding a riser to the dome foundations. One community's approach to highest good food is 
duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative in the detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This week, we continued researching goat care and fencing, making revisions and additions on the Google Doc with the updated information you can see here. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also completed his 11th week working on creating an open source icon and symbol set for our permaculture designs. What you see here are the icons created so far. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include Comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly theme lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete. Summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team organized all the action items, bug fixes, and developmental steps needed to bring on a new six-person team to finish developing the Highest Good Network software. You can see some of this behind-the-scenes work here. And Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, continued with his 23rd week as part of the marketing team. This week's focus was refactoring four more keyword strategies, including the rabbits, chickens, aquaculture, and wildlife stewardship pages. He also finished building the actual ad campaigns for the open source AutoCAD landing pages. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of creating a global good news engine. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog, visit our website. There's so much information there. It's thousands of pages of information. I think it's uh, just under 2,000 pages our website is now if you count all of our weekly updates. So take a look at what it is that we're creating. If you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. If you'd like the easiest way to help out, we are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, Pinterest, uh, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, all and about 15 other social media networks. Share our information. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, or just give us a thumbs up and a like on this this video. All those things help every little bit. If you're just somebody that's watching to the end, that makes a difference. Even that, if you're somebody who's donated to our project, that obviously makes a difference. We're 100% unpaid team and all volunteers, so if you've donated even $5 to our project, we thank you. That helps cover our internet expenses and just our website infrastructure. None of that money goes towards paychecks for anybody. All that money goes towards open source, our, our open source mission and goals. And so we thank you. We thank you for whatever way you've been supporting us, and we will, of course, until next week. Keep on keeping on. Thanks.